So, okay, so Allie, I see that you had a question. So how do you get your dog to stop biting? Well, Allie, you know, is it, is, are you talking about a puppy? Or are you talking about an adult dog? Because really, if, if you're talking about a puppy that's less than six and a half months of age, then the answer is you, you don't get them to stop biting. They're going to keep biting because they're looking, they're looking to play. I feel your pain, by the way. Yeah, you know, like puppies bite. You know, puppies bite. And, and I talk about this all the time. I talk about my puppy uniform. And I'll definitely, like, I, I'm wearing mm -hmm. the puppy uniform on my T-shirt right here. I wear a hoodie that covers my hands. Um, but I also, like, when I, when I teach a puppy about its biting, I have one of these balls. So, yeah, I've, I've got the ball with me. I also have a leash on the dog. You know, when, when a dog is biting, it's a game. Mm -hmm. And think of it like football. If the dog is playing and biting and it's a game, if it's football and you hit the quarterback after they've released the ball, you make physical contact, it's a 15-yard penalty. So if, if you're playing a game with the ball and the dog's chasing after it and then they bite you, use your leash to discipline your dog. How, sh how hard should you use your leash? Well, it just really just kind of depends on the dog. Some dogs just need a dirty look. Some dogs need a little bit firmer pressure. Some dogs need a lot more. But, you know, you kind of figure it out in the context of the game that's saying, like, hey, we're going to put a boundary. Now, anybody that says that you shouldn't discipline your dog, well, you know, your dog is exploring, using its mouth, jumping on you to say, when is somebody going to tell me how far I can go? And so limits put, you know, using a little bit of pressure from your leash is a good way to establish where those boundaries are for your dog. It was really interesting. I got to work a, a, a couple of dogs over the weekend and I was, I had taught this, uh, this first dog that, you know, when you get on your bed, that it's really very rewarding and we're going to pet you. And I've got some video on that. Maybe we'll be putting out this week. And then I had another dog, well, and the same dog got it into a down and I showed it that it was amazing. Then I threw some food over the edge of the bed. The dog stepped off and I literally didn't touch the dog any harder than that. And that's all it took to tell that puppy not to come off the bed. And then we would just went right mm -hmm. back to rewarding. And then the second dog came out and I probably put that dog back on the bed seven times. Um, and it took that dog longer to figure out that, hey, I couldn't do that. So every dog's going to be a little bit different to learn where the boundaries are. But man, your leash can really be very valuable there. I'll remember that. Next time I'm sitting on my hands trying to... <laughs> yeah, you know, just put a leash there. And, and so, yeah. so this goes back yeah. to something I teach to all my clients, but I'll, I'll say it now. When you're using your leash, there's a very simple way that each, each and every one of us needs to understand about how a leash works. And I call it the principle of pressure. And the principle of pressure is this. You should turn pressure on. The dog should do the thing that you've imagined in your head that you want them to do. And then after they've 100% done that, then the pressure comes off. This is by definition called negative reinforcement. It is very powerful. Negative feedback mechanisms are very, very strong in a lot of different animals, particularly your dog, also in humans. And so when you do that, that actually is a really good way to begin to establish where the boundaries are because your dog is feeling and, and it can feel that. Obviously, like, you know, if you're at the grocery store and somebody comes into your personal space, you can feel the pressure coming off of their presence. And so your dog can feel your presence, can feel the leash, and those things, and, and that leash pressure can really give a lot of very useful information to the dog. I'm not saying that don't give your dog treats and food. On the contrary, I think you should give a lot of that. But I think there should be a good, you should really show the dog a nice delta or the, there's a big difference between where the boundary starts and where you really should be habitating and what you should be doing. Because that's a great way to train behaviors. So... Anyway, I just think that's really I think that's really important to learn how to use a leash well. It makes a big difference in leash walking and coming when called and then teaching your dog to stay.